now when you're setting up your displays let's say you have two computer screens on your main pc you have your elgato hd60s connected to your main pc and then you have your stream pcs connected to the elgato through the type c port so once you have that set up you're going to make sure that you extend all three of your displays so you have your main screen the gaming one that people are going to see you have your second screen and then you have the elgato you're going to extend all of them you're not going to duplicate any Here's how you're gonna set that up. You're gonna right click on your desktop and go to display settings. And you're gonna make sure that the capture card and your two computer screens are extended, not duplicated. That way it recognizes your capture card as an extra screen, essentially a third screen. Now remember, a lot of people have complained about having their, let's say 144 Hertz monitor or even 120 Hertz monitor getting cut down to 60 because they're duplicating their screens to the Elgato HD60S. Now, because of the whole bunch of issues they've had, once you set up OBS and you project it to the capture card, sometimes it might not switch back to your full monitor's potential. So in your display settings, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down, go to advanced display settings. Right now I have my main screen selected. You can choose other stuff here. You don't need to because a lot of people just wanna make sure they have their full potential for their monitor when they're gaming because they wanna be able to use those milliseconds that really do count in a competitive sense. So with my main monitor selected here, you can see here that it's at 1440p, which is 2K, and it's at 144 hertz. Now, if you know that your computer screen is, let's say, max at 60 hertz, but you know it's a 144 hertz monitor, just go to the properties here, and you can actually go and change it down in the monitor settings here. Here's the hertz. Sometimes it caps it at 60, but you can actually get it back to 144 hertz. So a lot of people have had that issue and I hope that helps, especially with capture cards. This is where the tricky part comes in for some people. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download OBS Studio onto your gaming PC. Don't worry, you're not gonna be streaming from it or recording. The whole point of having a dual PC setup is to spread the load and use your resources wisely. So what you're gonna do is once you've downloaded OBS, and by the way, the reason why I say don't download Slobs or Streamlabs OBS to do this on your gaming PC is because Streamlabs OBS is not as optimized for your computer resources. So it takes up more resources than OBS Studio. And so once you're in OBS on your gaming PC and you've set up your whole display settings and everything like that, make sure your capture card is all set up. We're gonna right click in sources and we're gonna click add and we're going to add a display capture. Once you've choose the name, obviously it's gonna pick up my main screen here. You can obviously have different options. I'm gonna choose this one because that's what I want. Click OK. You can see that's my display here. And then what I'm going to do is once you have OBS open on your gaming PC, you've got to have it open whenever you stream. Right click on this uh, preview screen, go to full screen projector and do Elgato HD60S. Now your main computer screen is going to be duplicated into your capture card and into the stream PC. That way you don't have to worry about duplicating it with your display settings and losing your frames per second or hertz because a lot of people have had that issue. So OBS fixes that issue. And then when you set up your scene in OBS or Streamlabs or XSplit, whatever you use on your streaming PC, make sure you obviously create a scene and then you're gonna right click, which you add a source and you're gonna add a video capture device. Obviously name it whatever you like and then choose the Elgato HD60S. This is the capture card that you're gonna have plugged into your stream PC and that is also projecting from OBS through your capture card into the stream PC. Remember, you have to have OBS Studio open on your gaming PC if you're gonna project it with OBS into your capture card. This video was just a portion of the full tutorial, so if you wanna watch the full video, go ahead and click the link in the top right in the cards or down in the description. You can check it out if you wanna learn more about this topic. Don't forget to subscribe on your way there.